हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज महेश पाठक एंड वेलकम टू पाठक माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द सेम टॉपिक व्हिच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर इन द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द सीरीज एंड द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लिविंग बीइंग्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस टॉपिक अर्लियर एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सम इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक्स इन द फर्स्ट लेक्चर so if if you have not watched that video first i would recommend you to watch that video first and after that you can see this video so let's start the topic which is characteristics of living beings and uh, let's uh, study in more detail each and every characters of living beings okay so let me start the presentation so we are having the first slide and in which we can see the first characteristics of the living being okay which is definite shape and size so every living being has a particular kind of shape and size which it maintains throughout its uh, body uh, sorry throughout its life and uh, if therefore the first point is living organisms have definite shape and size due to this property they are called morphous okay first term we are introducing here is morphous okay why morphous because they are having a particular kind of shape and size that's why we uh, call them as morphous having morphous means having particular shape so this term is very useful in the field of life science and biology the morphous or mor morphology uh, which means is that the living beings or living organism having particular kind of shape they are having shape and size and a non living matter is termed as amorphous therefore okay so this is the first characteristics of living beings let's move to the next character which is development okay so in this slide you can see the development what is development development is the sum of the total changes that occur in an organ or organism during its lifetime okay the sum of total changes in the organ or organism whole organism in its lifetime is called as development if you observe any kind of organism you see its life span or uh, life from birth to death you can see that the organism is developing continuously throughout its life so this character living things Uh, do possess which is development they do develop from birth from childhood to adult adult to uh, the old age and old age to death you can say that the body of the organism is continuously developing so this is the second characteristics of the living being which is development let's move to the next character which is uh, organization okay so a living beings have organization particular kind of organization if uh, the living organism is unicellular or multicellular they are having a organization so we are having this first uh, point is the body of the organism is differentiated in smaller units and subunits which are arranged in an orderly manner if you see the human beings okay human beings have certain systems uh, in their body like circulatory system reproductive system nervous system digestive system so the, they are having these systems which are worked throughout their life and uh, maintain their life throughout the their life span okay so they are having organization 
in this their body structure or the cell structure living things due to the presence of organization a living being is called organism so this term you may be familiar with is organism what is organism because they are having certain organism which ex and enables them to express in the life so they are having organization so this is the characteristics of living being then growth they show growth growth is a permanent and irreversible change in the size of a cell or organ or whole organism okay permanent and irreversible change so these two points are important in this line that is permanent and irreversible change in the size of the cell and organ or a whole organism so that is called as growth progressive increase in the size and weight of the organism due to the synthesis of protoplasmic and apoplasmic substances progressive increase in the size and weight of the organism whether it is unicellular or multicellular organism the uh, size uh, the shape of the cell and the body is continuously increased increasing so that's why we can call is uh, this organism is growing progressive increase in the size and weight of the organism due to the synthesis of why why this change and growth occurs because synthesis synthesis means what production production or to make something which means synthesis due to the synthesis of protoplasmic what does it mean by protoplasmic so let's say this is cell and in this cell various kind of cell organelles and cell products are present so inside the cell we can call it as protoplasmic space so due to the synthesis of protoplasmic and apoplasmic apoplasmic means out of the cell substrate so let's say the organism is multicellular and uh, so many cells are present so out of the cells there are they are having certain factors or products which are going, growing continuously so that we can call it as out of the cell which means apoplasmic so these two terms are very important protoplasmic inside the cell and apoplasmic outside the cell so so out of uh, inside the cell due to the synthesis of inside and outside the cell products the organism tend to grow so that's why we uh, see growth in living organism so i hope this is clear to you let's move to the next slide which is uh, and next characteristics which is metabolism we have discussed this uh, in the earlier lecture let's discuss it again in brief metabolism what does it mean by metabolism some of the total various biochemical reactions occurring in the cell means metabolism some of the total changes some of the total biochemical reactions which are happening continuously inside the cell why do we require all these uh, biochemical reactions because cell or any organism unicellular or multicellular organism requires energy to perform its life functions to extract that energy from nutrients these biochemical reactions are necessary and to transport that energy and convert to uh, and to use in daily life functions like i am speaking so my uh, body is continuously producing atp and burning atp to uh, give me this facility to speak so that's why we required energy to perform all daily life functions so where do i uh, where can i get this energy my body is getting energy from nutrients so that nutrients uh are break down into the smaller products and the energy get extracted out of them to ex, uh, to perform these all reactions to extract the energy from the nutrients cell perform certain biochemical reactions inside the cell so that we can call it as a 
all that the sum of total sum of that reactions we can call it as metabolism so these are these reactions are mainly two types one is anabolism and second is catabolism so what is anabolism and catabolism anabolism means synthesis synthesis means what to make something new or to make some new products so synthesis of biomolecules large biomolecules from smaller precursors like from glucose monomers we uh, make starch or glycogen so that is anabolism from smaller units to larger uh, larger molecules like starch from glucose to starch so what we can call it as anabolism and second reactions are second type of reaction is catabolism what does it mean by catabolism so breakdown of breakdown of biomolecules large biomolecules to smaller ones biomolecules to smaller ones that is catabolism so total sum of the reaction uh, of anabolism and catabolism we can call it as metabolism so these two reactions are continuously happening inside the cell of the organism so this is the defining defining why do we call it as defining property we call metabolism as defining property why because the only uh, this is the character which is only seen in the living things not not a single non living thing performs metabolism so that's why we can call metabolism as defining property of living organism let's move to the next slide which is a uh, next character which is reproduction so what we are seeing the characteristics of living beings and uh, this is the main uh, one of the major characteristics of living being they tend to reproduce okay every living being almost every each and every living being reproduce not all there are some living things which do not reproduce but they uh, they are still living uh, living beings but almost all living beings reproduce okay almost all ha huh? not all there are living beings which do not reproduce but reproduction is a main character uh, one of the major character of living beings so that is first point is it is the formation of new individual of similar kind what does it mean by reproduction it, the name itself has its, its meaning reproduction the organism reproduces is its copy organism reproduces its copy so the formation of new individual the formation of new individual of similar kind from parents to offspring parents what makes uh, offspring uh, from parent to daughter cell okay the genetic information is carried from parents to offspring if the organism having sexual reproduction so this is the property of living things the individual make from the pre existing one and uh, the formation of new individual of a similar similar or identical organism is made from the pre existing one so that we can call it as reproduction life arises from pre existing life two main stages of st strategies of reproduction are asexual and sexual reproduction is uh, mainly two types which is sexual and asexual what does it mean by sexual reproduction which means two parents will come together to form a new individual so there will be two parents involved let's say male and female okay so they will uh, their gametes will fuse to form a single cell which will be let's say this is a female gamete female cell and this is male cell okay male gamete they will fuse together to form a new individual which will be known as zygote the first cell of the organism so 
this we can call it as the two uh, parents are coming together and fusing their gametes and having sexual activities or sexual intercourse and uh, from which the organism is a new individual is produced so this process we can call it as sexual reproduction in which two parents are involved the other type is asexual reproduction in asexual reproduction only single parent is involved and that single parent divides and to form two new cells daughter cells okay so there are uh, multiple types of asexual reproduction we will learn in uh, next few lectures so these are two main types of the reproduction sexual in which two parents are involved asexual in which only one parent is involved so this is reproduction which is the main characteristics of living things the other character is consciousness consciousness means what it is the awareness of surrounding and response to the external stimuli what does it mean by consciousness it is the awareness we feel all the time the living things have this is a defining property also okay only living things have this property living beings have this properties which means consciousness consciousness means what the awareness which we feel all the time in our life okay so that awareness only seen in living things so that is consciousness another defining properties of the living organisms homeostasis homeostasis means what the homeostasis it is the maintenance of constant and favorable internal environment conditions suitable for functioning of the body organs okay it is the constant and favorable internal environment conditions suitable for functioning of the body of organs so that is called as homeostasis to maintain all the biochemical reactions inside the body to the optimum level the cell or the organism must show some homeostasis or to maintain the certain factors like temperature or ph of the body or cell so organism do require this homeostasis to perform the daily life functions in their life so that's why homeostasis is also important and important characteristics of living organism then evolution evolution it means to unroll unfold reveal hidden potential darwin defined the evolution as descent with modification evolution means what simply means in marathi we can call it as kranti okay i don't know hindi or uh, marathi uh, we can call it as kranti okay what which means evolution so if you see the uh, study the evolution very important uh, topic in the biology uh, in which organisms all in organisms are evolved throughout the centuries okay so evolution is the main and also one of the important characteristics of living beings and then repair regeneration repair uh, if we are having some injuries then uh, our body repair itself by its own and regeneration means if the certain organism have the ability to reproduce or regenerate their body parts so that ability to regenerate and repair our own body that is also the one of the characteristics of living beings okay then aging aging also the characteristic of living beings it is a progressive decline decline deterioration in structure and function of the organism progressive decline uh, organism do age and they are uh, having decline and deterioration in their structure and function so that's why aging is also important characteristics and uh, here you can see aging starts before birth means biology aging okay so we age before we are having our birth 
so that's why aging is also very important property in of the living organism and finally death death is also very important characteristic and uh, why important because if death does not happen then we are having so much accumulation of the biomass and uh, uh, living world in on this earth so that's why death and decomposition of the organism is very important on the earth to uh, for the optimum activities of the, on this earth so that's why death is very important it is the ultimate termination termination means end of the functional life okay it is the ultimate termination of the functional life which is death it is the most important regulatory process which prevents overcrowding what prevents overcrowding and brings recycling of materials so we have seen all the characteristics in details which are let's sum up in a two seconds like we see what was the first it is defining shape uh, living things having defining shape and size development they tend to develop from a birth to death organization they are a particular kind of organization working throughout their lifespan then growth okay they grow from birth to death metabolism means they are having all uh, biochemical reaction inside their cell like anabolism metabolism anabolism means synthesis of biomolecules catabolism means breakdown of biomolecules and metabolism means the total sum of the anabolism and catabolic reaction okay then reproduction organism do reproduce they make their own uh, they make uh, new individuals like themselves uh, then consciousness they are having awareness of surrounding okay then homeostasis evolution repair and regeneration they repair their body if they are having some injury or regenerate their body parts in, in case they are they lose their body parts in parts in their life they they are having some some organisms are having ability to regenerate their body parts okay then aging and death so these are the uh, characteristics which ha we have studied i hope you you are all understood all the characteristics of the living beings if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and share this video to your friends okay and uh, if you want to join our coaching online or offline contact this whatsapp number or visit this address thank you so much